It's a bendy, trendy hair wave tutorial. Great to see you this week. You've asked me a lot of times based on some recent social media posts about a new hair tutorial. I've been wearing it wavy lately. You could describe it as a beachy wave, but I would have to say that the beachy wave was more of a 2018, 2019 type of a look. Now in 2021, it's more of that bendy wave. I think the best way to describe it is if you did a beachy wave on yourself, you went to bed and you woke up and that's what you got. It's a looser, more relaxed, more of a bend, less of a coil type of a look. It works really well in texturized hair. So you're probably asking, well, what's the difference between layered hair and texturized hair? There is a subtle difference. Layered hair has a lot more shorter layers cut into the overall look of the hairstyle. So in my case, I'm a bob, I'm a completely straight bob, and I'm texturized. So that means there are some shorter pieces, kind of a long, longish bang, and then these are straight, and then there's some shorter pieces right here that don't meet all the way down at the ends, and they're very, very subtle. They're, they're basically point cut in, so it doesn't have a really hard, kind of a shag. I guess that's the best way to describe, you know, a super layered bob would look like a shag. This could go both ways. This could look absolutely poker straight, if I slick down all my layers, right, and you know, kind of did a little tuck back behind the ear, you couldn't tell that I had any layers in here whatsoever. It would just look like a completely blunt straight bob. But the advantage of having some texture there and just a little bit cut in makes the most sense all around the crown to give some height and to have a little bit of, of shortness back here a little bit on the sides, that plays in really well with this look because it gives a little bit of a look of kind of a bedhead, messy, a little poof. So if flat is your issue, then texturizing is going to be your solution. So what are we going to need for this tutorial? I have my Babyliss Pro Prima 3000 flat iron set on the absolute lowest setting. This is important for several reasons. Number one, you protect your hair that way when you use any type of a heat device on the lowest setting. The second advantage to this is we're not going for really tight curls, we're going for more of a bend. So the less heat, the better for that. Uh, my hair is washed, clean, and blown out. And when I did the blowout, I used by the Virtue line, you saw me feature this a couple of weeks ago, Create 6-in-1 Styler, shines, texturizes, and protects. Super important when you're doing any kind of a heat style to it because you wanna make sure that you're protecting your hair. And that's it. All we need at this point is for this flat iron to warm up. I think it's nice to have these clips to help section off your hair, and that way it's easier to go section by section without hair sort of falling over every section that you're trying to wave. There are some really interesting techniques on how to achieve this. It's very different from the traditional beachy wave look, which was thicker chunks, everything rolled back. We're going to mix it up. I have lots of inspo, as you know, here in the Houston area. There's uh, some amazing talents. So I've taken you to Cerrone Hair Studio many times and they post a lot on their Instagram page uh, and you can get all kinds of ideas. Another one is Chris Jones Hair. He's got a great Instagram account and he really focuses on bobs and texturized bobs. So if you're looking for inspiration and guidance, um, go to him as well. I will link these two in the description portion of the video as well as all products used. So you'll be able to find everything that's going on and you can get connected to the stylists and follow them on your social media and get some great ideas as well. So let's go. I can feel the uh, flat iron getting warm. I'm going to start with my side panels. And here's the biggest difference, I think, between this bendy wave look and the beachy wave look. 
and that is how we're going to do these panels and this is a trick that I have been taught and I really like the full-on effect of this so normally with a beachy wave you would take this and you would roll it all back the problem with that is that it would it would kind of mess up your line of your bob and it also you ran the risk of this end piece sticking out way too far and so it'd be super flippy so what we're trying to do is really control the perimeter of this bob and keep it still in a bob shape so what i'm going to do with this section is take my flat arm and and you have, to be, you have to be careful with this one because it heats up on both sides, inside and out. So it's really easy to get yourself a nice um, flat iron suntan, so be careful. So with this section, what we're doing is we're going in flat and we're going under, over, under. And see what that did? It created kind of this, this bend, but it still kept the integrity of the line of the bob. Now we're not going to do the entire hairstyle like this, but it's really important that we do our front perimeter pieces like this. So it, it gives you some volume and it gives you just a little, little bit of a bend out right here at the end. So I'm gonna go into my next section. And this one I'm going to do more of a traditional wave but I'm not going to curl the whole end. So just going like that, and then just sort of pulling it through at the very end, because I don't want a super, super tight curl. I'm just looking for just a little bit of a twist. Same thing right here. And you can even take it and pull it a little straight while it's still warm, because again, it's just more of a bend. So I'm just gonna concentrate on the front hairs first. Same thing here. Now because it's kind of a longish bang look, what we're trying to do is to get these guys to kind of wing back. So again, they won't be in the flat iron for too long and that's a good thing too also for heat preservation. So this is going to be just a little bit more of a flip back like so. This one, we're going to mix direction. We don't want everything going in the same direction. So this one, I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna roll it forward. Why am I doing that? Because this is the area where we like to get a little bit of lift in the hair. And so by taking this and coming up and, and doing a forward roll, it helps to do that and change the direction. So right here, going up, twisting forward and releasing, like so. The one behind it will go the opposite direction, backwards. Twist, not all the way down, and release. Same in the back, in the midsection, we'll go back, twist, back, release. Now we're up to our front hairs. So I'm going to do a center part on this one. You can do, you can do a full on side if you want, completely up to you. So this is gonna be just a slight wave back, like so. Same with this one, next to it. Not keeping it in there too long. If I feel it's too tight, just pull it straight. All right, this section, I want some pop at the crown. So I'm gonna do the same thing. First, I'm gonna lift it like so. See how I gave myself that little bend? And now I'm gonna come forward like that. And suddenly, I've got some height. Same thing goes for that section, kind of scoot down <laughs> for that section right at the crown. Okay, so we're going to go in, bend right at the crown, and then slowly pull it through. But that heat right there is gonna give you some nice height 
at the crown. Same thing on the other side. Go in to where your side panel is, clip it back as best you can. Okay, so here's that side panel. So this is where I go under, over, under. And there are my waves, and there's that nice blunt line. Next section. This one, I'll just subtly roll back, not going all the way to the end. I don't want that tight curl. Same thing with this section. Up and back. The closer you get into the root line, the more lift you give your hair and the more volume. It's suddenly going to pop out a lot, which is great. It's such a wonderful way to volumize your hair um, just by bringing that heat up into the root and then twist right there and then just subtly pull it through. I'm having to guess on a lot of these back hairs because I can't see. layer down. Again, this one just swooping away from the face, almost like a winged effect, and you almost pull the iron forward when you make that happen, which allows the hair to kind of sweep forward a little bit. Okay, so this is that area where I want that bend and I want it to come forward a little bit. So I can come in, bend it, And now twist it forward. And that way I have poof. My last front hair right here. Again, just a subtle wave back. Super quick. Not too much time in the iron. Same here. Subtle wave back. And this is that spot where I want that pop, that height. Perfect. I'm having to do this by feel. Just kind of check my perimeter here. Let's see what I got going on. So it needs to go back. Just check. Do section. I prefer thicker sections. I think you get more of that overall effect. Also makes the hair look thicker when you group it that way. Okay, so that's rolled back. You see how how loose it is. It's not super tight, coily um, waves at all. Okay, this one goes back. Let's see what's going on this side. All good. This one I need to roll forward a little bit more. Let me just finish waving these. These go back. Everything's now in the back, kind of rolling back to meet. Okay, so for the under hair, since we have these guys just slightly bending out, what I don't want is the under roll, okay? I want the, the rest of the perimeter to match what's going on here, and it's so simple. You just take your flat iron, again, very carefully because it's close to your neck, and you get all of these little under hairs and you do a slight bend out. It's not a it's not a full on flip. It's just a little bit of a bend so that it matches what's going on right here. And then it all makes sense. At this point it's, I mean, you can use your fingers. You can use a super wide tooth comb. 
because these are bendy waves, not beachy waves. They are very natural and loose. But I still feel like I have my, my clean line on the bottom. But here's where the texturized part makes all the difference in the world. Do you see how you suddenly get this, this pop of hair all up in here? So I'm gonna turn around. So you get height all up in here in the crown. You get lift. You can have, you can even make more bang if you want just by kind of pinching this and pulling it together. But it creates such versatility with this look. And so whenever you're happy with it, and again, just the looser, the messier, the better. I have the Virtue Texturizing Spray. And I just, it's, and it's a super light spray. It's not tacky. It just helps to enhance that, that texture and that pieciness. You just take it and pull it through and, you know, whatever makes you happy and however you like it is how you leave it. And then if you want to hold it, if you need a little bit more hairspray, I've always used for a long time the helium air spray. And so you can always, you know, hit it with that. Remember, always go from the underside, not the top, because you don't want to weigh it down. So if you need just a little hit from the underside, you can do that. Or if you've got some flyaways, I'll use it to just kind of bring those together. Okay, so let's, let's check the perimeter, shall we? I feel like I'm in a fog of spray. So you see how, how natural and loose all of this is. All these pieces were just sort of waved back to meet each other. This was the one that went forward, ends just kind of straight. And there you go. And by the way, if you ever get any hairs that, that want to just flip out, so simple, you can just take your flat iron and just kind of roll them under and that'll bring them in. And then just hit it with some hairspray. I think you can see the difference between this look and a beachy wave look, which is a tighter spiral. And there's nothing wrong with it. It's all great. It's all wonderful. But this is definitely what's on trend from everything that I've been seeing on social media and on YouTube in terms of hair tutorials. This is what everybody is working to recreate. So I wanted to give you a demo and show you how to do it and really how easy it is to do it. A couple of points. If you have super, super straight and fine hair, you'll probably have to to go a little bit higher on the heat setting because I know your hair has a harder time holding on to that curl. I naturally have a lot of curl in my hair, even though I've done Brazilian blowouts. I'm probably now at month four, so I'm kind of toward the end of the real straightening of that Brazilian blowout. So my hair will hold a lot of this bend and this wave. Other than that, make sure you've got some good heat protectant in your hair before you style, a good texturizing spray, and just play. You'll get used to it and figure it out. Um, but if you haven't had your hairdresser cut in some key texturized layers, not, not full on shag layers, just a little bit of texture to give you just that pop. So you get that lift. Um, it's, it's more of a youthful look. It eliminates the triangle bob, that kind of flatness here and the width here. And it gives you an opportunity to, you know, kind of channel Brigitte Bardot a little bit. Like, yeah, you just woke up in the morning and it's, it's all like that. I am here for you and I can't thank you enough because you're constantly giving me new things to look at and new ways of doing things and even trying some different stuff. Kind of like the press on nails last week that was a total absolute positive mess, but that's okay. Just goes to show I'm human. Go out, be bold and be blessed. Look forward to seeing you next Thursday at one o'clock. Bye.